Uh, my name is Muna Shaheen. I'm an environmental and climate activist. I'm a Palestinian who lives in Haifa. Right now we're in this area where there used to be different villages on the coast. And these villages were ruined, right? Tantura, and al Ghazali, Ajzam. And the people had to flee, had to run away. Some of the villages are just completely ruined. Some of the trees are covering part of them. Other parts, just Israeli settlements built inside even some of the houses. There are almost no Palestinian villages on the sea right now. The coast is completely out of our reach. So this is classical, painful, ruined villages and damaged villages that people have been forced to leave. What's the story? For me, the story is distance that has been created between the Palestinian and, and this land. We feel that we don't really belong to this place anymore. That there has been an Israeli policy of distancing Palestinians from the land and from nature. We feel kind of alienated from our land. There has been various policies taken to, to create the situation. One of them is it's planting trees that are not local. These pine trees that have been planted here, they grow fast. They look good. <laughs> They're not local again. They've been changing the face of the land and then planting all these pine trees and, you know, like changing the face of the land in a way that's, that doesn't have the deep understanding that my people do have in their memory. So we speak about olive tree, we speak about fig tree, we speak about, you know, like different carob tree. These are the trees that are native to this land. Pine tree is not. <laughs> and so you come and there's no no traditional link happening there because there's no connection. A lot of the Palestinian connection to the land happens through connection to the land that you work in because a lot of the Palestinians used to be farmers. And so the connection to the land is really the connection to your land. Many of these properties were confiscated. Again, pff, another place where the connection is lost, right? So we lose, we lose a connection because we lose our lands. And then whatever nature is left, when you go to nature, you feel this is Israeli nature, it's not mine. All nature is turned now into Israeli, right? The animals have Israeli names, everything like this is the Israeli snake, the Israeli bird, the Israeli tree, the Israeli plant. The plants themselves have been given names in Hebrew. And all that creates like a really big feeling of belonging to the Jewish people, to the land. One goal is really to strengthen the Israeli identity here. And the other one is to weaken the Palestinian identity. I grew up with my grandmother. Um, she lived with us. And she used to live in, in this village where, <laughs> where she, she told us amazing stories of the way that they used to live and really simple, and beautiful life. And, when she got like sick and she couldn't really move, she would ask us to go and pick things for her. As a kid, we always went once a year. Like There was a month or two in a year where we would go picking olives, all the families together. And like, really, that's, I think, the deepest experience of, of nature. It's a deep experience of everything. People singing and eating together and, and really being immersed in this family connection to Earth, which was really amazing. Like there's a really, really deep connection to the trees, you know? Like you treat the tree as your friend. You appreciate the tree, you... Like the olives themselves, they're, there's something about olives, <laughs> you know? It's almost sacred, it's, they're amazing. It's really like a, such an important tradition. And it's so funny that Israel now made the olive tree their national tree, you know? <laughs> <laughs> For God's sakes, this is like the, the Palestinian icon, you know, with the whole stories of the, with the ruining the, the olive trees for the people in the West Bank with such lack of sensitivity and it's like stepping on your identity, like crushing it, you know. It's looking at the environmental issues and the climate change that's happening, I often find myself puzzled why there's no real activity inside the Palestinian community around this issue. Once we start connecting to the beauty of our heritage and our lineage and, and start finding the connection to the land, to the plants, to the trees, to also to people, obviously. But once we find that connection again, then I think that, that 
you can stand up straight again because you know that you're supported by the whole universe, right? What we need to do is to start changing our attitude in our lives, remembering the way our grandparents used to live, drop the shame of it. I choose to start a movement in which we raise awareness to what's happening, to the connection between the politics and the climate crisis, to how the occupation is creating even more damage to the climate. I choose to bring my voice up. I choose to go and speak. For other people, it might be to go and do something else. They might want to do direct action. They might, they might want to do demonstration. I don't know. I think activism has many ways and many faces to it. The main thing is that we, we make a different choice of the way that we're living. Climate crisis is a survival issue. I worry for my kids. That's the main thing. I really worry for my kids. I wonder whether they're going to have the same possibilities that I had. I try to take them as much as possible to nature because I want, to, I want them to, to get acquainted with nature because I don't know how long it's going to last. You know, when they talk about being parents, I, I don't know, I choke. I don't know if that's going to be possible. It's, I'm really scared. I'm scared for my kids. I'm scared that, you know, like that they're not going to have the possibility to live life where they can breathe really clean air. It's really scary. It's really, really scary. And then thinking about this happening for them as Palestinians in Israel, you know, we're going to need to take care of ourselves.